So, uh, first things first, obviously you're going back to Fort Dodge, uh, beat Keokuk. What is it like, um, not only to make it back to state, but then to beat the team Keokuk that's obviously tormented you throughout, throughout this season? The best part was beating Keokuk on their home turf and, and making it to state. And then the way that it happened, obviously it all happened in one inning for you to kind of really switch it all around. Um, how big is that that moment like that where you kind of just had the whole team rally once all at once to uh, lead to victory? It was really good. We were all, that inning was ours. We were ready for it. And then, uh, um, I guess obviously that's the, the biggest win so far of the year. But uh, when you think back to the season, uh, do you feel like there are other signature wins or, or win that kind of made you think, like, yeah, we can make it back there, we can do that? Um, well, it helps that we got to buy first round because that always helps. That's one less game we have to worry about. But beating um, Davenport West was really good because that helped us get past that second round. And then all we needed was Kia Cook. And then uh, obviously now you're doing back-to-back -back trips, obviously your senior year. Obviously, What is that like uh, knowing that you're ending your, your last two years here with Fairfield that they will be ending at Fort Dodge? It's, it's really good. I was not ready to end it the other night at Kia Cook, especially at Kia Cook. So ending it at Fort Dodge is the way I want to end my senior year. Uh, and then obviously you're the lone senior, like I said. Uh, who else is kind of emerged as a leader with you that kind of lead this unit? Um, I would say Kennedy Wall. She does a lot with the infield, keeping us pumped up. Um, Haley Beard, because she's on the mound the other game when I'm not, or she comes in and helps me. So I would say those two. And then uh, would you say that the three, one of the three of you is sort of also the emotional leader too, kind of? Yeah. Yeah. Ken does pretty good about if we're getting down to keep us up. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right, so <laughs> this is uh, sort of weird. Uh, do you have like a team phrase or saying this year, season that uh, you guys have sort of been uh, focusing on? <laughs> Brenna Bowman, she has a, we can play ball, or we're here to play ball, she says before every game. <laughs> uh, coming off of last year, obviously, when you're coming off a state trip, um, do you feel like that made this whole season feel different, kind of heading into it, and then as the season continues? Yeah, with going to Fort Dodge last year, we knew that we, we could do it this year, too. And then... Uh, what do you feel like you learned about last year? Obviously, you had the tough loss to, to the state champs uh, in Dallas Center Grimes, but uh, what do you feel like you learned about last year's tournament, being out there at Fort Dodge that you can take in? Well, the as in playing DCG, we learned that every play counts because as we lost to a bad air and it lost us the game, so we learned that every, every play counts when it comes to games like that. And then can you, have you allowed yourself to already imagine holding the trophy? Not yet, I gotta focus one game at a time. <laughs> Uh, and then lastly, uh, just some more uh, generic sort of questions, obviously. Uh, you mentioned Haley, kind of what is it like when you have a pitcher like that, who both of you have more experience, obviously you're a senior too, but uh, the two of you kind of can uh, talk to each other and, and bounce some ideas off. We do really good together. I think we work pretty good together, and it's nice knowing that if I'm having a bad night, she's there and she's having a good night. And then offensively too, on the other side of the, the plate, uh, your, your team obviously is pretty balanced offensively. How is it knowing that? Uh, pretty much anyone that comes to the plate for you can help you uh, get a get a get a lead. So yes, you go back out there. we do pretty good at hitting, and it helps knowing that we have a strong hitting team. Um, okay, I think that's it. All right, <laughs> thank, you. thank you. All right, so back to back trips for for you and the Trojans, obviously. Uh, what was it like to not only make it back, but obviously beating the team that you did in the fashion that you did? Um, I think being, beating Kia Cut gave us a lot of confidence going into the state tournament. I think that doing it, on, like Ali said, on their home field, that felt good. <laughs> and then they're a team, obviously, that you've had trouble with in the past mm -hmm. in, in several different sports, probably, with Fairfield. Um, how much sweeter is it that, that they're the team that you beat, their home field, now you're going to state, and, and obviously they're not? I think it, it, it's awesome. It feels great. Just hitting Peasley finally, and I think that was key to us winning. And then obviously too, um, with the back-to-back -back trips, obviously you're only a, a junior, I believe. Uh, mm -hmm. So with that, uh, knowing that you've made it two years in a row now, kind of what more confidence does that give you heading into the tournament? Uh, it feels good. Going 12 innings with DCG last year, that gives us confidence too, just knowing that we can pretty much compete with anybody up there. And is there anything else you kind of learned? Obviously a tough loss to them, but uh, you, you did bounce back for two more wins. You know, anything else you learned about Fort Dodge while you were up there, the fields? That sort of thing? I think just being there once already, it gives us a little like leeway with the nerves and stuff going into our first game. So, Did this season feel differently in that same way where uh, you're coming off a state trip, you know what it feels like to be up there and how to get back there? Yeah, I think like just the nerves and going into the game, like we're prepared, we're prepared. 
And then I asked uh, Ali too, do you feel like there was a signature win? Obviously, Keokuk, the biggest win so mm-hmm. far, but did you feel like there was a win throughout the year or a couple wins where you're like, this, this, we can do it again, we can get back up? Um, I think just going one game at a time. Like, we played Solon in Atumwa, which was a one-run game, so I think that gave us some confidence and just knowing that we can pretty much compete with anybody that helps us. That's up here there. <laughs> Try to skip a topic. Uh, and then have you allowed yourself to imagine holding the trophy? Uh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then, just uh, oh, sorry, go one, ahead. one game at a time. And now you mentioned that you're sort of the, the, the phrase sayer on the, on the team. Oh, yeah. what, uh, what sort of things do you say? Just we're here to play ball, that's our saying. <laughs> we, last year in the state tournament, we kind of came up with that, so we've taken it with us all this year. And then, uh, Allie, being the, the oldest player, obviously the mm-hmm. only senior, uh, how much do you feel like you've sort of stepped up as a leader, too, to kind of assist her in the way that she's uh, the only senior? Um, I think that the other juniors and I, we kind of learn from her as a leader, so next year we should have more than just one, which is like this year. We have juniors and seniors are kind of the leaders on our team this year. So, And then offensively uh, as a team, uh, obviously as the second hitter, you're, you're uh, one of the hitters that's usually getting on base. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you feel like it's like to have a balanced attack where from one to you know nine you guys can all uh, get on base? I think it makes us more confident all through the lineup and in, especially on like defense it makes us know that if they get runs and they hit that we can turn around and do the same thing. And then not every team gets to return their pitchers, obviously Valley and mm-hmm. Bailey as well. Uh, what has their, that duo been like for you, uh, knowing that any game you go on the mound that, or go out to field that they're, they're going to be on the mound? Um, just like them having experience makes us more confident. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> I forgot to ask them, but first I just need you to say and spell your name just so that uh, we all get it right and that sort of thing. Oh, uh, Kaylee Watson, K-A-Y-L-E-E. And then W A T S O N. All right, so uh, back-to-back trips. Uh, what is it? Uh, how much more special does it make it doing it against the team you did in the fashion you did? And obviously, you being one of the, the runs, the persons to bring in the runs. Um, how much more special does it make the trip going back? Um, a lot. It just shows that what we can do and how we can make a trip back to state. And then I saw. So I didn't see the game, obviously, but I saw some of the recap, and it, obviously you're trailing for most of it, but then what do you feel, um, what changed for you when you entered in the sixth inning uh, when you came up to that? Um, we just came in, and we were more hyped than we were the other innings. We were hyped, but we weren't as hyped throughout until the sixth inning, and then Brenna got a hit, and then it just kept rolling from there. So you feel like a, a, like a light switch just turned on? Yeah, just, just flicked. <laughs> Uh, so obviously back-to-back trips now too as a junior. Uh, what is it like to start somewhat of a tradition now that you're doing it back-to-back in that way and, and uh, getting heading back up to four times? Um, it gives us a lot more confidence within the team, knowing that we can. We've made it back-to-back two years. It just helps going into the state tournament. And then, what do you feel like you learned about that experience? Obviously, the tough loss uh, to the champions, but. Uh, what do you feel you learned about the, the whole Fort Dodge, the fields up there, and, and sort of the whole experience? It really shows that anything can happen, really. Like, we were we were neck and neck with them the whole game, and it just one mistake, like, made it all for us. But, hey, that's all right. <laughs> How, did this year have a different feel to it when you're coming off of a state trip like that, uh, heading into each game and all? Well, coming in, we were a little, we, like, didn't know how it was going to go because we had so many young ones. But they came around, and... We've actually did really well this year, I would say. And then, uh, clearly, <laughs> making it back to state. <laughs> um, and then, with that, uh, throughout the season, uh, you had a bunch of different type of games. Uh, did you feel like there was some sort of signature win that, that put into your mind and maybe some of the other players that, yeah, we can make it back up there. This, is, this can be our year once again. I think just every game that we won, going into every game, game by game, it's just made it better, build up until the end of the season. We're still going. And then uh, with Allie being sort of one of the lone seniors, uh, being the lone senior rather, um, how have you felt the juniors have sort of stepped up in the way that, that is, took some of the leadership role off her shoulder? Well, I felt like we all stepped up. We, Allie showed us the ropes, showed us what we needed to do, how we needed to act, and we kind of just took over and went from there. And then uh, hitting wise, obviously you and Sarah, I think the two leaders in home runs for the team, uh, but then the rest of the, the unit kind of can all get on base and that sort of way pressure does that take off of each other when you know that if you don't get on base, someone else on that will. It's nice knowing that knowing that our um, that our whole team can 
hit. It's because like if one person doesn't get on base, we know that the next person is going to get on base. And then with Allie and Haley obviously on the mound, um, and you're out in the outfield. How uh, eased are you that you know that the two of them are out there uh, in any the, the game that they play? It's nice. It gets kind of boring out there though. <laughs> They're good pitchers. Uh, let's see here. Um, have you allowed yourself to imagine holding the trophy? To what? To imagine holding the trophy. Oh. I, I've imagined it, but I got to take it game by game. So, got to keep that in mind. The uh, correct approach. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else here. Uh, and then I guess, so what have you already kind of learned about Creston uh, a couple days out of uh, playing them? Um, I've heard that they're actually pretty good. They, they beat a good team. That was. That's new. It's like us beating Kia Keck, so anything can happen. Uh, let's see if I had anything else here. Uh, I think that is it. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. And then uh, you mentioned some of the hitting there. Uh, I believe it's five or six at 300 or more. Um, how much flexibility does that give you when you know that, you know, one through whatever it is, six or however, uh, that they can all produce? Well, <coughs> it, it, it would be better if you had nine that all hit 300 or more, but uh, that doesn't happen too often. Um, yeah, our, our, the top five in our order that have experience uh, hitting and all can hit home runs, uh, all can hit with power. Uh, they can all, you know, they can all poke singles here and there, and they all have pretty good speed. <clears throat> so we have a lot of flexibility with the top the top five in our order. And then uh, looking to the actual tournament now, Creston, <coughs> what have you learned about them? What do you think will be um, some of their biggest challenges they provide to you? Well, <clears throat> um, Keokuk played Creston during the regular season and um, we'll probably be getting some information from Merle, uh, the Keokuk coach, uh, a little more information than what we already have. We did see a couple of innings of that game. It was at the Oskaloosa tournament. Um, we know that their pitcher isn't overpowering. Their pitchers aren't overpowering, but obviously they're good because they've beat some good teams to get to the state tournament. Uh, they were in the state tournament a year ago, just like us. Um, their pitcher from last year did graduate, uh, but they've evidently filled that spot. And um, we'll, we'll know more about them as we go through the, you know, the week, but uh, we just have to go play well. I mean, I'm sure uh, Creston's thinking the same thing, that you know, <clears throat> they're, you know, they're thinking we're not the best team in the state, and we're th hoping they aren't either. <laughs> Uh, so it's a winnable game for both teams, and we just want to go out and play well. And then, uh, obviously not looking ahead, but have you looked at you see the field you know, made the tournament? Uh, how do you think this field compares to, to last year's field? Well, with all of the upsets that happened in the semifinals and finals, it's a little different. Um, there were four four of the top like six six or seven ranked teams that got beat um, and will not be in the state tournament. So. But there's still good teams there. Carlisle was number one uh, ranked at the end of the season, and they're in the tournament, and they'd probably be the favorite. Uh, if you look at their schedule and their scores, uh, their only losses have been to bigger schools, 5A schools, that have good programs. Um, so they would be the favorite. And I think from, from for the other seven teams, it's fairly wide open. And I'm guessing that, you know, Carlisle's not going to just walk through the state tournament, so uh, there's nothing guaranteed for them either. But I'd say that, you know, they would be the favorite, and then the other seven teams, you know, I'm sure they could all, on a given night, beat each other. And then what do you think is, uh, obviously, you know, you want to play well, and then uh, <coughs> each matchup as it comes, what do you think will be one of the other key factors to, to you getting to where you want to be with, uh, with the team this year? Well... The, the main thing is just uh, for the girls to go up and be uh, as loose as possible. Obviously, in a state tournament game, you're going to be a little more tense, a little tighter than you would in a regular season game. Uh, but you'd like the girls to go up and have a good experience. Uh, last year, when we won the fifth place game, everybody was happy. It's, uh, it's for the coaches, our uh, joy is seeing their reaction, first of all, in getting to the state tournament and then getting the two wins that we got last year in the state tournament. Uh, so hopefully everybody just has, you know, plays well, uh, feels positive about the whole experience and, you know, whether you win or lose, <clears throat> as long as those other things happened, uh, it's been a successful tournament. And then uh, actually one more question for you. Uh, 
last year in the in the regional final, you had an interesting way to get that win as well with <coughs> an error, and then this year too, the, the one inning that changes it all. Uh, I guess what do you kind of learn about this team from from those two those two games and the two years, obviously. Well, we had players. We have players that played in both of those games. Um, a year ago, Brenna Bowman got the what was going to be a single in the hole deep at shortstop, and then fortunately, I mean, she was going to beat it out. It was going to be a single, but and fortunately for us, their shortstop decided to try to throw it to first base, and they didn't catch the throw, and we scored and won. <clears throat> and um, last Tuesday night against Keokuk. Uh, Brenna started us off with one out with a solid single up the middle, uh, followed by Kaylee's home run and then Sarah's home run. Um, so we've had some similar, you know, some similar people involved uh, in both of those games, and Brenna being the the key one there. Um, but I think everybody that played last year understands the situation and uh, whether that's going to. Make a big diff. Whether that makes a big difference from year to year, uh, I don't know that anybody could answer that question. Uh, I think it helps some if you've been to the state turn have players that have been in the state tournament before. That helps some as far as the nerves, but it's still it's still just a game. Once once the first pitch is thrown, um, I think everybody tends to settle down and just play softball. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Th